Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. It will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth. For it is upon you. A newspaper's supposed to make you feel good. Nobody remembers what they read. I don't want to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And Danny's picked a little one. That's cheery. Hey, short guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that. Drop his guard. Sleep! Dream! And it looks like Defoe is down for the count. Do we really have to do this? Got a sinking feeling. Oh God, this on. Oh God.
pry it loose. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motoline dispenser. That chap at the bridge said I'd need a power cell and his war medals. I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. Nothing personal. future now. go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. everything I had when they jumped me. If I crouch, I bet I can disappear into those bushes. It's better this way. <laughs> 